guys welcome back to my kitchen i'm so excited that i'm back filming recipes and cooking again thank you guys so much if you've been here all this while and just supporting me through my pregnancy thank you thank you so much if you're new my name is ccme i'm a food and lifestyle blogger and i live in lagos nigeria today i'm going to be showing you guys a way to make stew without using tomatoes if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed please click the subscribe button it is absolutely free they don't collect any money from you for watching my video so please click the subscribe button and also click the like button if you're interested in seeing how i made this too then just keep watching first of all i'm going to season the turkey I like to do this a day in advance so that I can keep it in the fridge and then the turkey can marinate. I'm just adding thyme, curry, garlic powder, ginger powder, salt, seasoning cube, onion. And I'm going to boil this turkey for about 20 to 25 minutes. I also added some green bell pepper just for the flavor. Next, I'm going to fry the turkey. And grill it in the oven but I want to use the oil I use from frying the turkey to make the stew so I'm going to be frying the turkey very dry so that it can hold on its own in the stew to make the stew we're going to use red bell pepper and green bell pepper red bell peppers are so sweet which is why this stew is going to be very delicious After blending together, we are going to start frying the stew. This stew is very, very fried. As always, anytime I'm frying onions, I add curry and thyme and that is because they are so fragrant. By now your neighbors will know that something's happening so you need to pepper them. I believe that you eat with your nose first, before your eyes, before your mouth. Next, add the bell pepper paste to the vegetable oil. I think it's good for me to warn you guys, when you're making this stew, it splashes everywhere so you can cover it till it dries up don't cover it and leave it there it will burn so keep stirring it from time to time you know your stew is ready when it has reduced and you can see the way my stew looks it looks very very dry you have to be patient this took about 30 minutes bear in mind that i didn't add salt to this stew and i didn't add seasoning all my seasoning i'm going to get from the turkey that's why i'm using turkey stock i'm also not using water because i like my stew to be a bit thick you can add water if you like but i'm one of those people that make stew that you just add a little bit on the rice and it goes a long way i have different type of stew recipes on my channel buka stew fish stew all the way kind of stew so if you're interested check them out and if you like this video don't forget to click the like button and subscribe i hope you try this recipe i'll see you guys in my next video